What's up guys? Brian Henninger back with the Artist Influence. Look, what is holding you back? Why are you not where you want to be in your life? Why are you not where you want to be in your professional dance career? Why are you not where you want to be right now? What is holding you back? That's what I want to, what I want to talk about today. A simple concept, um, but something that if you tackle it now, as you set out in your career, as you're still working to make happen the things you want to happen in your life, it'll really set you up for success in the long term. And it's just about how you look at your life. Uh, understand that we live in two worlds. There's an external world of things happening around us and to us in the physical world and what we experience on a daily basis. And there's also our internal world. It's the conversation that we have with ourselves and our mind and our heart about what the things mean that happen to us. Because everything that happens to us, everything we experience, everything we see, we give meaning to. Whether consciously or subconscious. Whether watching someone get into a car accident and subconsciously making a meaning of that cars equal death and developing a phobia towards cars or something lighter and having a, a birthday party and people lighting candles for you and showing you love and giving you appreciation um, and that meaning going into your head that these people love me and they support me and, they, and they, they want me to do good, they want me to be happy in life. They're all meanings we give to things. So first thing to tackle is you gotta tackle your internal world before you can tackle your external world. And that's your thought process. That's how you approach challenge. That's how you approach hardship. That's how you approach happiness and success and, and what you think about those things. It's the story you tell yourself about why you can or can't have all of your dreams and goals. Um, and a lot of times we have stories going on in our heads that are subconscious and conscious at the same time that are dictating the decisions and the choices and the actions we're taking on a daily basis. And a lot of times we don't even realize it. Um, so if you're someone who's trying to become a professional dancer or you're someone who's trying to be an entrepreneur or start your own business or do anything that's challenging and that's, that's uh, you know, worth achieving in this life, you have to manage your internal world and your thoughts and the story you're telling yourself about how or why you can't have something. So instead of looking at something you want to have happen, instead of looking at your goal or your dream as this giant mountain to be taken on as a Mount Everest is something that you're never going to get up. Instead of focusing on all the things that could go wrong, instead ask yourself a question of what could go right? What could go right in my life? So let's say you're someone who wants to start a small business, who wants to start your own business, be your own boss, whether it's selling a product or whether it's becoming licensed in a service, whatever it is. If you're trying to create something of your own, and really take charge and be in charge of your own destiny in this life, um, instead of focusing on all of the unknown factors, all of the things that could go wrong, all of the, the struggle you're gonna have getting the business to be able to be sustainable and make yourself a paycheck and an income, instead of focusing on all that stuff, focus on all you're gonna get from this business, all of the, the, positive, that, that, the positive things that are gonna come from pursuing this endeavor, whatever it is. If it's professional dance, focus on all the amazing opportunities and moments that you'll be able to experience. Focus on being able to travel and all of these these great things, uh, being on stage in front of thousands of people, um, having someone come up to you and say you inspired them to start dancing themselves. like Things like that are what we need to focus on while we're trying to achieve our goals so that way we can enjoy the ride and actually be connected to the positive aspects of what we're doing and not the few negative things that might come in. So instead of focusing on all the things that might go wrong, Focus on what could go right. And another question you can ask yourself is, ask yourself, if I don't do this right now, if I don't make this change in my life, if I don't go down this path, if I don't conquer this thing that's holding me back from pursuing what I'm supposed to pursue, my passion, what am I gonna give up in the next five to 10 years? How is my life gonna become worse over the next five to 10 years? Um, and you might say, well, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, so nothing's really gonna change. Yeah, but regret is a powerful thing. So if you look at your life 10 years from now and you look back on all the chances you didn't take, on all the risks you didn't go after, on all the things that you didn't try to achieve, how are you gonna feel? How is that gonna make you feel? Are you gonna feel regret or are you gonna feel happiness? Ask yourself that question too. All of these questions you can ask yourself can alter the story you're telling yourself in your mind. And it can alter the narrative and it can change the way you look at the world around you and the meanings you give to things. And we'll, we'll go into more depth on you know how to strategically program your mind to be able to help you to succeed, how, how you can change your thought process, all of those little details. We'll go over those in future videos, but for now, 
Just focus on these basic aspects. You got to manage your internal world before you manage your, your external world. Yeah, no one who's done anything of note or successful or, or any millionaire or any, any head of a company or anyone who's invented something that's changed the world, all of those people have gone through immense level of fa failure on the way to their goal. But they were so connected to the idea they had and the feelings that they would achieve and experience by achieving that idea that every day they let it fuel them and push them. And it wasn't them pushing themselves toward a goal, rather it was the goal being so vivid and so imagined, so connected to their spirit and soul that it actually pulls them to it. The goal pulls them through all the obstacles to achieve it. So think about those aspects of managing your inter internal world. The second aspect of this in achieving success and getting past what's holding you back is your external world. You gotta look at the people around you, look at who you're surrounded by, and then think about what you're trying to achieve. Right? It doesn't make much sense to me to surround yourself with a bunch of people that, let's say, work in a mechanic shop when you're trying to become a chef. I, how, that makes no sense. right? And your friends are the same way. And look, love and utility are two different things. So you can be best friends with someone, you can love someone, and you can, you can interact with them and, and love their, their, uh, their energy around you and what they bring to your life, but they could also give you nothing in terms of motivation and uh, strategies and, and insights into what you want to achieve. So you got to start surrounding yourself with people that have done what you want to do. You got to seek out those people. So if you're someone who's trying to become a professional dancer, for instance, you have to seek out the people that are already successful at what you're trying to accomplish and model them. Look at what they've done. Look at the strategy they, strategies they've used. Look at some of the things that have, that have set them back and how they overcame those things, those challenges. Um, learn from other people's experiences so that way you can get yourself to where you want to get even faster and with less headache and less pitfalls along the way. Because every successful person can be modeled. You can look at the way they've, they've thought. You can look at their mindset. You can ask them. You can talk to them. So start, start surrounding yourself with people that are doing what you want to do and are in the world that you want to be in. So if you're trying to start a small business um, and you are in a town and you're trying to smart, start a business that's going to serve that community, then you need to get in touch with what that community needs. You have to seek out other small business owners in that community and, and ask them and talk to them about what they've been successful at and what they've not been successful at and start noticing what's worked for people because that same stuff can work for you and you can spin it and make it your own. So you got to manage your external world too. You got to look at who's around you. Look at your circle. Look at look at who you're spending the most time with. Um, you know, the scientists said, and I believe it, and it's actually been proven statistically pretty true, is that oftentimes uh, you're the five you're the average of the five people you associate with most, um, economically, socially, spiritually, uh, happiness-wise. A lot of times you become the average of the people you're spending the most time with. Because those people affect your life, they affect your way of thinking, and you all affect each other's way of thinking. So be proactive about who you put around you and who you, who you allow to to uh, affect your mind frame, the your mindset, and the way you look at the world around you. Because that's very important to manage. You got to manage those who are around you and make sure you're putting driven, passionate, happy, um, motivational people around you because they're going to push you forward. Um, and then just in general in your life, you have to manage your life proactively, not reactively. So many of us in this world today of, of constant email and tweets and, and Facebook and all of this Instagram, there's so much information coming in at us that we're constantly reacting to it. So from the time we wake up in the morning, we're reacting to our world. We're re reacting to our to-do list and things we have to get done. Instead of being proactive and asking ourselves, you know, I've got 24 hours in this day. These are my goals for my life. This is my vision for my life. What do I need to do? What actions do I need to take on a daily basis to make those visions happen? Not what bills I have to pay, not, not who I didn't call back, not, oh, I told this person I was going to do this thing, so I need to be here. Not feeling like you need to um, react to your world, but thinking more internally first and asking yourself, what action should I take today to get myself closer to my goals? and taking those actions on a daily basis. And obviously there's those things that everyone's got to do. You got to take out the trash, you got to check your email, you got to call someone back, you got to pay your bills. There's all those things you have to do. 
But you got to make time for things that you want to do first. Because those things you want to do are the things that are going to actually push you towards your destiny and your passion. And then there's time for getting all those things you have to do done. So think proactively instead of reactively. Um, and then just, you know, a couple more things before we get going. But that was basically it for this video, guys. I just want to talk about just different ways to get past what's holding you back, your internal world and your external world, and managing those two things. And we'll dive in more into depth in future videos on actual strategies and specific things you can do if your external world is not reflecting the things you want to have happen in your life, how you can change your mindset in order to alter that external world and also how you can get people around you who are more supportive and, and in a nice way cut the ones off who aren't supportive. We'll get into all that stuff. Um, and then just, uh, you know, regardless, like if there's different things, different subjects on these videos that you guys would like to see tackled, subjects specifically related to professional dance or subjects just related to entrepreneurship, related to success, related to happiness, related to setting goals, related to just making your life the way you want it. Anything related to those things, um, I will do my best to answer those questions and, and provide good quality content that, uh, that tackles those challenges. Um, I'm actually getting a website together for The Artist Influence right now. It's going to be www.theartistinfluence.com. Um, working on it right now, it's going to be a site, basically that's a database for all of this information that I'm putting together and all the information that I've come across from people who are far smarter than me, way smarter than me, PhDs, neuroscientists, the people that have created the information that I've been inspired by that's led me to be able to achieve what I've achieved in my life and I want to provide that information to you guys and to everyone um, so that maybe it might inspire someone else out there to take their life in their own hands and, and pursue a passion and pursue a career that's off the beaten path like I always say. Um, so definitely check out that website keep your eyes open for the artist influence Don Cobb and should, it should be coming in the next couple weeks um, and then another thing too is for dancers in particular I actually read or wrote a career guide that's specifically geared towards professional dancers uh, this is a book I wrote two years ago um, I spent about seven to eight months compiling the information for it and then another three to four months getting it formatted and written and printed and published um, I self-published it. It's on sale right now at Broadway Dance Center and also BroadwayDanceCenter.com. It's also on sale at Excel in Motion National Convention, which is the convention that I teach for. Um, it's at a merchandise booth there, so if you come to any of our Excel in Motion events, the book will be on sale there as well. This is the book right here. It's titled Book Dance Jobs, and basically what it is, guys, is it's a roadmap. It's a roadmap towards starting a career in professional dance. It highlights everything you need to do, all the skill sets you need, from being able to audition better and pick up choreography quicker, from what to wear to auditions, from what to pack in your dance bag, to how to find an agent, to how to find out about auditions, to how to pick the right college to go to if you want to major in dance, to how to make the decision between moving to New York or LA, depending on what type of dance you want to be a professional at. All of those things, all those subjects are tackled in this book. Everything from um, different strategies that professional dancers use for taking class to get more out of taking class. Because once you get to a certain level, guys, a lot of times the person's class you're taking, the choreography itself is not going to challenge you anymore. It's more so you working on aspects of your performance and you working on aspects of your choreography pickup and specific things related to the actual mechanics of being a professional dancer and there's strategies that you can use for taking a dance class that can help you get more out of every class you take get more bang for your buck basically so if you're interested definitely check this book out uh, it's on sale at broadwaydancecenter.com again this is the book book dance jobs i'm brian henninger this is the artist influence definitely check out theartistinfluence.com coming to you guys in a few weeks more information on that coming soon and until next time have a great day Pursue your passions and don't let anyone tell you what's possible for your life except yourself because you can make anything happen. I promise you that. Talk to you soon.